The Scottish Government is allocating a further £482 million to NHS boards and integration authorities to meet costs of the pandemic and remobilizing health services. This includes funding for test and protect and to support the progress of the vaccination program. It comes on top of £2.1 billion provided to date to NHS boards and integration authorities to support additional COVID-19 costs. Further funding will be provided as necessary over the course of the year. And Health Secretary Hamza Youssef said about this, Our frontline health and care workers have been remarkable throughout the pandemic and we continue to support NHS boards and integration authorities to deliver and remobilize vital services as we approach the toughest winter the system has potentially ever experienced. This £482 million includes just over £121 million for test and protect and a further £136 million for the vaccination program. The rest of the funding will cover costs including additional staffing to support hospital scale-up, equipment, maintenance and IT. The 2021-22 Scottish budget takes total health portfolio funding in excess of 16 billion pounds that's an increase of over 800 million with a further 1.9 billion of funding to address pressure related to covid-19 this announcement follows an initial allocation of 380 million pounds to nhs boards in july for costs associated with the pandemic the impact of covid-19 and its financial implications for the health service continues to be assessed to ensure frontline services receive the support needed throughout the pandemic a record winter package funding of £300 million was announced earlier this month to support a range of measures to maximize capacity in the hospitals and primary care, reduce delayed discharges, improve pay for social care staff and ensure those in the community who need support receive effective and responsive care. The Scottish Government also released £12 million in additional funding to health boards across Scotland to support non-COVID emergency care. This immediate action will help put measures in place to reduce waiting times for urgent or emergency treatment with a focus on boosting staffing levels and available beds. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.